to the 15th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper Team, which is Chemistry. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please go to our YouTube channel and check for the episode that covers all the questions in this paper to the detail. And if you are new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button so that every time I upload an episode, you get the notification bell. So let us move straight to question C2. Zinc blend is one of the ores of zinc metal. Question A. State the chemical name of zinc blend. B. Describe how zinc metal is extracted from zinc blend including the necessarily balanced chemical equations. State two uses of zinc metal, then D suggest one environmental problem that is a consequence of extraction of metals. Question A, which is the solution. So question A, we are asked to give the chemical name of zinc blend. So the chemical name of zinc blend is zinc sulfide zinc sulfide which is given by this formula so this is the chemical name or you can write it as zinc sulfide depending on how but the name remains the same so that's question A so question B, we just moved toward the space. We are required to describe how zinc metal is extracted from zinc blend, which is zinc sulfide. Then we need to include the necessary balanced chemical equations. So what are the steps? So there are three steps that are involved in extracting zinc metal from zinc blend. So the first step is, we call it concentration. So this is the first step, concentration. So under concentration, what happens? So the ore is crushed and then concentrated by froth flotation process. So the ore, which is the zinc ore, is crushed and then concentrated by froth flotation process that's the first step then we have step two once you do that step two is roasting this is step two so under step two, the concentrated ore is then roasted in the presence of excess here at about 1200 kelvins to obtain zinc oxide. Then how do you represent this? So what you are saying is this concentrated concentrated ore is roasted in the blast furnace in the presence of air like that so this roasting is given by this equation zinc sulfide which is a zinc blend is roasted in the presence of air which is oxygen so this is a solid then this is the gas then we get zinc oxide which is solid then plus sulfur dioxide now because the question requires us to write the balanced chemical equation so how do we balance this we know that we have two oxygen here this side of got two two plus one which is three so to balance this one because there are three what i can do is i may introduce a three here so i'm going to have six once I have 6 there, then I can introduce a 2 here, then we have 4, 
then I can also introduce a two here so that we have six. So like that, we've balanced the oxygen. But zinc here, in this case we have two zinc here, but this side we have one, so I can introduce a two here so that we have two zinc, two sulfide, two sulfide here. So zinc sulfide is balanced and also oxygen is balanced. So this is the balanced chemical equation. So we are roasting concentrated oil of zinc in the presence of hair in the blast furnace. That's step two. Then step three. So in step three, what is happening is we are now doing reduction. So this is what we are doing, which is the last step, reduction. So under reduction, the zinc oxide is then reduced to zinc by coke. So this zinc oxide is reduced by coke, which is carbon, at a temperature of around 1006. 170 kelvins. So this is done in this case of zinc oxide, which is solid. This is reacted with carbon, which is the coke. So this, because carbon is more active than zinc, we are going to have a reduction equation. So zinc metal is obtained then we end up with carbon monoxide so this is already a balanced equation so by these three steps we extract zinc metal from zinc blend so if you can highlight these steps you are good to get these 60 max question still state two uses of zinc so in this case, we are only required to give two uses of zinc, but I'm going to give you more than two. So the first one is zinc is used in galvanizing, which is the process of adding thin layers of zinc to iron or steel to prevent lasting. So number one, used in galvanizing which is a prevention in the place of prevention prevention of lasting what happens is a thin layer or layers of zinc is added to iron or steel to prevent lasting So this is the first use. What's the second use? So zinc is also used as an alloy. So used So the zinc in this case is combined with copper to form bless. So cases is zinc. zinc is mixed with copper to form bless or blast and with other metals eh, to form materials that are used in automobiles electric components and also the fi fixtures so these are the cases eh, that you can eh, give but in addition to this you can also think about these are additional now it helps in the extraction of eh, gold so it eh, helps or used it helps or used in extraction of gold since it's more reactive than gold then it is also used as an electrode in a magneted form so number four it is used it is also used as electrodes in our ma Garnated form. So these 
are the uses that you can think about. The question is asking us to give two, but I've given you four. You can choose whichever you want. Question D suggests one environmental problem that is a consequence of extraction of metals. So we just need to give one, and this is one mark. So one environmental problem that is a consequence of extraction of metal is the pollution caused by mineral extraction. So mineral extraction consumes large quantities of fresh water and can pollute soil, water, and the air. Vast open pit mines drive large-scale land usage, which cause deforestation and threaten biodiversity. And additionally, mining, processing, and transporting of minerals also use enormous amounts of energy generating greenhouse gas emissions. So we have gas emissions, number two. We have also caused deforestation, then we have pollution. So in this case, I'm going to focus on pollution, but I've given you three, you can choose one. So I'm going to use pollution. So pollution, so what about pollution? So we're saying mean law extraction consumes large quantities of flesh water flesh water ends can pollute soil water and air so that's one of the key consequence of extraction of minerals. The other one that I talked about can cause defore deforestation because when extracting minerals you need to clear the land hence leading to deforestation. Number three that you can think about it can also generate green house gas emission because you need to use gas to drive these big earth machines which are used to extract metals and also when you're doing smelting so out of this you can choose one so i will choose the one that i've given to be number one but in case you ask to give more than one you can add these two so once you do that you notice that we would have answered all the questions and you would get these 10 marks and extraction of zinc is a frequent question that comes in chemistry so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at the last question of this paper